there guys, my name is Chris Shadong to Born but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update where today we're going to be sort of following on from the trailer we released this morning uh, from Luna Park in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia where they announced nine brand new rides as part of a brand new expansion now this is through the NSW government uh, that's sort of helping the tourism industry uh, sort of bounce back from Covid and this is a brand new expansion, nine new rides, we're going to talk about all the new attractions involved um, and we're also going to speak a little bit more in detail about the Big Dipper which is the brand new roller coaster opening as part of the expansion in 2021 um, and you'll know by the type of coaster from the trailer, it is the world's first Intamin Hot Racer concept and it is of course the first single roller coaster in Australia so this is going to be not the RMC version, but the Intamin concept version, which, to be honest, I'm sort of wondering, you know, when was this concept ever going to come out? And the fact that some one of them's going to open in next year, in 2021, is very, very quick off the bounce. You know, we only did a video about the concepts, what, a few months ago? Five, six, seven, well, not seven, but five, six months ago. And um, yeah, already one's been announced. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we are nearly there. We are halfway to 1 million views, which is brilliant. Uh, so we're going to get all of that sorted uh, and hopefully you can go back and watch the old videos, get a bit of binge watching, nostalgia going and uh, boost the view count. And uh, for now, guys, let's have a look at what what's been going down with this announcement. So let's have a look first of all in detail with the Big Dipper and then I'm going to share with you an article about the other nine new rides and more details about what rides are going to be heading out of the park as part of this expansion. So let's have a look first of all in detail at the Big Dipper coaster. So here we are, this is the Big Dipper roller coaster. It's the first single rail launch coaster in the world. That's a massive world record as well as it being the first single rail coaster in Australia. There have been two incarcerations of the Big Dipper before this um, and we'll talk a little more about that in detail towards the end of the video uh, for those of you who need a little bit more history on it um, but basically yeah this is the tallest and fastest multi-launch coaster in Australia according to uh, <laughs> according to this now it should be interesting to see what they're gonna do with this but I reckon this is going to be a really good coaster. So you can see straight away uh, the station and then the launch, the first launch of 50 kilometers an hour. And then you go into this Stengel dive element before you dive into some zigzag double downs with 0.4G and 0.2G airtime. Then a boost at 72 kilometers an hour going up into the non-inverting loop. Now this is a cool element for a single rail coaster and it's in fact the first single rail coaster in the world to have this kind of element which is amazing stuff from Intamin. And then you've got this side Wider inversion, so you can see inversions that you don't usually see on the RMC version. You've got this minus 0.3 g airtime hill uh, before a high speed downward S curves um, in the layout, and then it dives down into this flyover wave turn uh, around this canopy structure. Then we've got a flat spin inversion, which is a traditional barrel roll. Then you've got a 180 degree turn straight afterwards into the twist into a brake run. So, overall, not a bad roller coaster. Now, for those of you who need a little bit of history, on the Big Dipper. Um, basically, this has two incarcerations in the past. Now, uh, one of them uh, was the wooden coaster, was the uh, traditional wooden roller coaster, uh, which operated between 1935 and 1979. And then you had the arrow uh, looping coaster, uh, the custom looping coaster, which operated between 1995 and 2001. Now, the wooden coaster was uh, part of the 1979 Ghost Train Ride Fire. Now this one opened in 1995, the Arrow Custom Looper and closed in 2001. So this Big Dipper is the third incarceration of the Big Dipper roller coaster. And in my opinion, I think this is a legendary roller coaster. I think that this is a legendary name for roller coasters as well. I mean, you've got to imagine it being called the Big Dipper. You know, it's a legendary name in the coaster industry. And it's a good job that they're actually using this as a sort of launch pad to bring back the Big Dipper name. Uh, it's a fair play to the park for, for, for doing this and um, you know I can't wait to see what what waits really for the future of the Big Dipper roller coaster and it'd be interesting to see 
uh, how they theme it up as well because from the animation it looks pretty detailed in terms of landscaping and maybe some theming items here and there so of course that is not just what is being added to Luna Park it's part of nine new rides under a 30 million dollar overhaul as part of the NS W government urging of tourism operators to invest in attractions to help the state recover from the coronavirus crisis. Now, attractions will be removed for this expansion, including the Tumblebug attraction and the Spider attraction. Now, the Tumblebug is a scrambler, and from what I've seen from other sources, the Tumblebug is actually being replaced uh, with the uh the ra uh, the hot racer not the raptor the hot racer so it looks like the coaster itself the main coaster is actually replacing the tumblebug attraction uh now and it also looks like it kind of sits where the old big dipper used to sit as well <laughs> um but yeah this is definitely an interesting uh sort of thing now of course uh, there was an official press release by Luna Park so I've gone from the Brisbane Times report to the get the word out online report uh and this is about the sort of thing so the planning clips so the whole plan in terms of the investment and the expansion of the park includes the introduction of nine new rides permanent including six new children's rides we have a thrill ride which is going to be a giant pendulum we have a family coaster um which is the boomerang there's a family boomerang involved in this and uh, we also have the big dipper roller coaster as well so for those of you who need a little bit of extra details in terms of what these new attractions are going to be uh, basically, you've got the Big Dipper, which we knew about. We've got the Frisbee, an indoor kids coaster. We've got some smaller rides. There's a balloon ride, I believe, involved as well. There's a Gerslau family boomerang, reportedly. Uh, and, of course, the Intamin Hot Racer, as we all know. Now, of course, there's an official press release from Luna Park, which says as follows. Luna Park Sydney unveiled today a $30 million plan to update and refresh one of Australia's best known and most loved destinations, including the installation of new rides and attractions. The plan was officially announced by the Minister of Jobs, Investment and Tourism and Western Sydney, Stuart Ayres, and will transform an 85-year-old park into a world-class amusement venue fit for the 21st century. He welcomed the $30 million investment economic boost and the creation of jobs at a critical time. Now, the manager director of Luna Park, Sydney Peter Hearn, said we are investing over $30 million to upgrade park facilities, introduce nine new state-of-the-art rides and update some of our other attractions, while ensuring we retain the heritage and history of this much-loved Sydney destination. Uh, now, we are excited to an in announce the introduction of nine new permanent rides that will thrill and excite at all age levels, including six new children's rides, a family coaster, a thrill ride, and a new Big Dipper, which will be the first incline seating launch coaster in the world, according to the press release. Uh, now, the new Big Dipper is a state-of-the-art one-seat wide train that is smaller than the original Big Dipper at Luna Park. It's been specifically designed to ride very low to the terrain where appropriate in harmony with the historic landscape features of the site um so that's the official press release from two different sources and from that news alone you can definitely see that this is going to be a wonderful and welcome addition to this particular theme park in sydney australia so there we go that is the official statement and the revealing from luna park on the brand new expansion for the park now this is set to open next year in 2021 according to the roller coaster database with the coasters um, this whole expansion is set to take place for 2021, apparently, and wow, I mean, come on, I, I was already surprised they were introducing an Intamin Hot Racer, you know, if they were going to go for the single rail, I was expecting RMC, I wasn't expecting a, uh, one of the new Intamin concepts for a good year or two, yeah, since it was only a few months ago they actually revealed these concepts, um, but it's definitely interesting that the fact they've actually revealed that this is what's going down. And, you know, first of all, I mean, not even speaking about the coast, the main coaster itself. I think the, the children's rides, the six new children's rides are going to be great. Uh, there's a balloon ride, I believe, involved in that as well as a, like a kiddie coaster. So that's really nice. Uh, a Gerslau family coaster, a family boomerang from Gerslau, which is an amazing addition. A giant pendulum, which is just amazing. Uh, a great frisbee ride. And of course, the Big Dipper, this Intamin Hot Race, the first single rail coaster in Australia. Uh, the first launched single rail coaster in the world. Um, and apparently, it's the fastest multi-launch coaster in Australia. 
Is it taking into account the Blue Fire one? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Dream World Australia. Um, but it's definitely an interesting one. It's nice to see this whole brand of additions. And, you know, obviously you've seen the trailer for the Big Dipper in a separate video, and I put it on your screen uh, when talking about the Big Dipper. Um, but, you know, I like how they're utilising the historic nature of the Big Dipper name. I like the fact they're going to be using that for a third time. I think this is going to be a more permanent addition. I mean, you've got to think the the wooden Big Dipper stayed for a multi multiple amount of years. Um, the looping coaster version of the Big Dipper stayed for about six years. Um, and, you know, this is definitely a one-of-a-kind addition that I think will stay longer than any other version of the Big Dipper. And, of course, you know me. In 20 years' time, you're probably going to see a video on here which is basically saying, oh, the, the third incarceration of the Big Dipper is now officially the longest incarceration of the Big Dipper at the park. Um, got to imagine that 20 years' time. Um, but, you know, I think overall, I think this is going to be an incredible expansion for the park. And I think that they're doing a really cool job with this. So, fair play to them. Fair play. Uh, but there we go guys, so thank you very much guys for looking at this video, analysing the Lunar Park Sydney expansion uh, in grave detail. Uh, this is going to be a brilliant addition to the park, all of them amazing additions, and the Big Dipper Coaster looks amazing. It just looks incredible, doesn't it? Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more, and for now, my name is Chris Shell, keep them in the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, have a thrill-tastic day.